You do kind of look like you might cheat on your girlfriend, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Fung Bros Makeover. But this one's a little bit different because we're going to be having a competition between us three to see who can give the best makeover. We're gonna be heading to PacSun because they've got some crazy Black Friday sales going on right now. Check them out in the link below. We have three special female judges who are gonna be helping us out because like we know, yeah. it's not just about what the homies think. Feeling competitive? Competitive is in my blood, it's in my nature. I don't know if being fashionable is in your nature. Oh! Makeover competition, let's go meet the kids. I'm Oscar, I'm from Montebello, California. They call me OG, all love. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Giuliano, I'm from the Manila, Philippines. What's up guys, my name's Andy. I come from Canoga Park, can we to get fresh. So to determine which person we will be making over, we got a random draw. Without looking, all right. Drew Oscar! Oscar! Right. Without looking. Without looking. How you look? I Andy. got Andy. All Andy. Right. Andy! I got Giuliano. Let's go start phase one of the makeover. All right, you guys, we're at Faded Society here with Kenny. What do, what do you see right now? You go with the curly top, you can trim it a little bit and uh, curl it up top. All right, yo, Tommy, I know we were talking earlier about what type of haircut we were going to give Andy. I mean, his hair is kind of crazy right now, man. What you think? Well, maybe ball fade, took a little bit off the top, add some texture. Like, I think that, that's, that's like going to be tight. That's going to be tight. Guys, this is the barber Doug. What we could do is maybe just angle this, take some of this off from the back, and then just kind of feather it into the front. I've never seen anybody look so sad when they were getting their haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we still need something to sauce them up a little bit. You know? so, like a little design, like a part or something. I think that's gonna top it all off. I know you're from the Philippines, and they love K-pop in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. So we might give you a slight BTS look. Yo, BTS is in right now. I'm down for whatever, bro. Let's do it. All right, Kenny, you did a hell of a job, man. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Kind of describe what kind of design this is. This is a dream catcher. Fear no evil, speak no evil, think no evil. I've never gotten a design before, so you know it's a great little shape. Exactly. You know what we got right here? We got the more clean look. I think we got it, bro. Let's go. Then we got it. We got it. Hey, yo, Doug, can we get like four slits in his eyebrow too? Yeah, bro. I got you. Nani? <laughs> he was ready to accept it. He didn't want it, but he was. He was like, if it's for the makeover. Yeah. This is something different for sure, but hey, look good, feel good. Yay. Foggy, <laughs> cool. All right, guys, we know your haircuts are fresh, but we got to go to pack some because they are having some crazy Black Friday sales going on right now. Yo, you guys ready? Let's, let's go. go. These kids got a haircut. They looking fresh, but let's see your hair. Let's oh. let the world see. Check this out. You either look like you should be in an alternative band, an emo band, or a K-pop band. I don't know which one. You should be in a screamo band. Well, you already know I got that natural curl. You know, that's plus three points already. Whoa! You know, you got the lineup right here, plus two. I think this gives me a million points. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dream catcher, you know. He's gonna chase his dream. Yeah. How tall were you before? Like 5'8". Bro, I feel like I'm 6'4 now. You were 5'8? Yeah. Stop lying, you were not 5'8, oh, bro. bro. You're not you were 5'6. Five, five, you were 5'6 and now you're like 5'9. All right, so we have just got to pack sun and we are about to pick out these outfits for these young gentlemen. But here I got to introduce our special guest judges. Here we have Bria. Hey. We have Monica, and we got Jane. Hi. I'm looking for the person who's gonna have the biggest transformation. I'm looking for things that are like really unique, things I haven't seen before that like basically stands out a lot. So I want to make sure that personality matches the outfit, and also that they're comfortable and they have swagger. All right, you guys made the best outfit win. Break. Break.
You know what's really in right now this, for this season? Is elevated workwear. Like carpenter, khakis, obviously elevated on a more stylish level. Let's put you in some Ruka. Let's, let's, get, let's get this as a base layer. What do you think of these? This kind of fits in with the elevated workwear theme. You know what I think is gonna work really well? The hoodie underneath this. There it is, I already see it. Yeah. I see it. You know what, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Migos. There you go. All right, last but not least, we gotta head over to the sneakers. Are you a fan of Logic? Hell yeah, I love that food. I gotta go with that black NASA Vance because you know that black doesn't get as dirty. Hey, we locked our outfit in. We winning this. Thank you. Uh, go, baby. About this, man. It's pretty clean. It's champion. Way too I know champion's yeah. in right now, but I feel like this is too crazy. This right here, I feel like is what we, you need. You know, got the Sherpa denim jackets. You know, it's in right now. The winter time's coming yeah, along. Right. You no. gonna top this off with the guests. Uh, I think the stripes are overplayed, man. Okay. I feel like this uh, big guest logo yeah. right in the middle, it's gonna pop right out, especially when you, you open up your jacket. You have I the visions, it. man. You have the visions. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. I think having a pair of nice denims would top off your outfit really well. Yeah, something like this. I feel like, yeah, I think these are the one, man. You gotta get two pairs of sneakers. You know, Paxson got a lot of variety. You got the skates. Kinda wanna go with, yo, these right here, man. The Adidas Continentals. They look very, look, just like casual. Yeah, look at like. All right, bro. Here's your fit, man. You wanna come out a changed man, bro. All right, all right, Giuliano. It's a yo. What are you doing, man? I'm trying to get in your hand, man. I got that real estate up in there. I own. He's you. trying to Joel and beat I me. Okay, all right. I feel like I own a lot of real estate in this area. I own you, guy. Get out. I think I want to put you in something that's a little bit more fun. So a brand that they didn't touch yet was Kappa, but as the pants, we're gonna use that Kappa track pants so that you get the Kappa in there. So we got a Chinese shirt right here. But similarly, you got another rose shirt right here. All right, we go with the LA one. We go with the LA one. So these are like the little Yachty shoes. These are the Aztecs. So you got height from your hair and height in your Reeboks. So now you're about to be extra tall. Okay, judges, are you guys ready to see these young gentlemen? Yes. First up, we're bringing out my makeover client, Oscar. Straight out of Montebello. <laughs> Yeah, so as a lumberjack, surfer, and skater, all put into one, you know, looking good, looking fresh. I'm a big fan of Logic, so I had to go with these NASA shoes right here. I really like that you don't look like you're trying too hard, and I feel like this really captivates your personality because you're born and raised in SoCal. I really like the look. I do like the Rick and Morty beanie, but a little too basic. Just judging by your outfit, I can tell that you're really laid back. I like how you kept the little curl going up and then you had a fresh clean and fade. It really reflects on um, what you're wearing. All right, next up we got my up and coming superstar, Andy. Let's get it, boy. Hey. Double like, yo, Andy, coming out. How do you feel about it, man? It's really clean. I like how, you know, everything is tucked in. We have cut pants. I think you did a really good job paying attention to detail. Like, the little things that you put on, so such as like the chain, and the tucked in socks, like those little details like make it super stylish. And I like that the white shoes like complement the white, um, the white graphic on the shirt. I like this outfit a lot just because it kind of fits my style, like what look like look for into guys. He has that like bad boy <laughs> Cape Town look. You do kind of look like you might cheat on your girlfriend though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! So I really like your outfit. It's really cohesive. I like the pants you tucked in your shirt and that kept it a little preppy and it's really stylish. All right, boy, feeling good or what? Oh man, I think we're gonna win this. Yeah, you know I got you, man. Let's go. Thanks, bro. Last but definitely not least, introducing Giuliano. <laughs> First of all, I'd never saw my hair like this, but I love it now. I never would like dress like this, all flashy and all this, but like, I think it's pretty clean, very saucy. I'm saucy. Yo, I feel like I could run like a 5K right now. Yeah. I love the monochromatic look. I think you did a good job with that. Um, and then I'm a huge fan of the fanny pack as well. I don't love like orange and salmon together. I think that like kind of looks weird, but other than that, you look comfy. You don't look like a try hard. You look like you wouldn't cheat on your girlfriend, so. Oh <laughs> my God. I really like the outfit. 
like she said, I don't like how the fanny pack has orange and it's bright orange and his shirt's like coral and stuff. I like the dad shoes a lot. Uh, it makes you look more masculine because you have like a baby face, so it's cute. Are you gonna call him daddy now? Oh, what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> so this outfit is really nice because I feel like you guys took the approach of 2018 really hard. Dude, and the fanny pack's a nice touch because we out with your boys, you gotta go out. It's convenient to have it. Now the winner of the makeover challenge today is... The cheater! Yeah. Oh. I don't cheat though. We didn't cheat the win though. We didn't cheat the win though. I feel like in LA, no matter how much women say they don't like them, oh. they always pick the F boys. Yeah. In the comment section below, you're gonna get a bunch of F boy comments, but deep down in your heart, as long as you don't know you are one, it's all good. All right, Nelson. Oh, clap it up, clap it up. How do you feel right now? I just feel like, you know, when I first met Andy and how we looked, I was like, boom, we got a lot of work to do. The, his haircut before was like all wiggly all over the place. It seemed like he didn't cut his hair for like a few years and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I, I overheard the, all the other contestants getting lines too. I was like, yo, Andy, if in order for us to stand out, we're gonna go something crazy. So instead of just getting a basic line, I told the barber, was like, yo, we just cut him up, bro. That worked out, right? I, mean, I feel like this right here. <laughs> we called it the dream catcher, all right? Cause this boy's gonna chase his dreams. <laughs> oh man! All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that makeover challenge. Big shout out to PacSun. They have a great Black Friday sale going on. All this clothes that you saw here today is actually gonna be on sale during Black Friday. So definitely go into your local PacSun and check it out on Black Friday. To be able to create these three distinct looks just from one store, it really goes to show you, man. PacSun sure. really has a very diverse range of styles, and especially the way you style it. In the comments below, let us know which outfit you thought was the best. I want to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching that video, and until next time, we out. Peace. That is my style. That's the kind of voice I like. They say like it looks like he's gonna cheat on someone, but like you know, your looks do not define who you are. Look at me. I look evil, but I'm not evil. <laughs> <laughs>